What's up guys, my name is Ace, and when it comes to Modern Warfare 2, data miners have apparently discovered potentially all of the remaining guns that are coming throughout the life cycle of Modern Warfare 2. So today we're gonna be going through this list of all of the guns that we will hopefully be seeing between now and the end of the life cycle of Modern Warfare 2. But of course, just a couple disclaimers here, even though this is a data mine and therefore it's actually coming from the in-game code, it's still a leak. It is subject to change. Things sometimes get added and they never actually come or they may end up switching things out. There may be new ones that come that aren't on this list. So it's not necessarily 100% set in stone. And another thing to point out is this list is based off of an interpretation of the code that was data mined because they don't necessarily write out the exact model of weapon. Instead, they have their own internal short form that they use that will often give you a really good indication of what the real life gun is, but it's not always perfectly accurate or perfectly clear to see. I will of course leave a link to the Reddit thread where I first saw this in the description down below. But now let's dive right into the list, keeping in mind we don't know which season we should expect any of these weapons. So if I list out a gun here, I don't know if it's coming in season three or four or five. It's just likely that it's coming at some point before the end of the life cycle. And starting off with assault rifles, it looks like we'll be seeing the Malyuk, also known as the Vulcan M. This is a Ukrainian bullpup assault rifle, typically chambered in 545 by 39, but there are versions with 762 by 39 as well as 556. And its general design is based heavily on the Tavor Tar-21 you might remember from the original Modern Warfare 2. As for the next assault rifle, we've got another bullpup here, and this appears to be the Springfield Hellion, or VHS-2. And there's not too much to say about this one aside from the fact that it's a bullpup, it's chambered in 5.56, and I will say it's nice to see some more bullpups coming into the fold when it comes to Modern Warfare 2, since we're very limited in that area right now. After that, let's move into the battle rifle category, and it looks like we're finally going to be seeing the Army's new rifle, the XM7 or SIG MCX Spear. This is something that we were talking about quite a bit before the game launched. A lot of people were hoping and speculating that this would be in the game at launch, and unfortunately that wasn't the case, but it looks like they are probably bringing it to Modern Warfare 2 with one of the seasonal updates, which is excellent to see. I can't wait to get my hands on this. And I think out of all of the guns on this list, this is the one I'm most excited for. After that though, let's move into the SMG category, and it looks like we're gonna be seeing two more SMGs, although they may end up being combined into the same gun, or at the very least, they're definitely gonna be in the same platform. These are the BNT APC-9 and APC-45. Now you may recognize this from Modern Warfare 2019, this was in the game just as the ISO, and that might sound familiar because we have the ISO Hemlock in Modern Warfare 2 currently, so it looks like ISO is just their fictional counterpart for BNT in real life. And as a result, the APC-9 and the APC-45 would almost definitely fall under the same platform as the ISO Hemlock or APC-556 in real life. Next, let's get into the sniper category, and I'm sure a ton of people are going to be excited about this. It looks like the intervention may be coming at some point before the end of the life cycle of Modern Warfare 2. This was definitely a fan favorite sniper rifle from back in the original Modern Warfare 2, and I know it would be quite a big deal to many people. It would really hit that nostalgia nerve if they were to bring this into the game, and it looks like it may be coming. As for the other sniper rifle that was found in the code, this is another returning rifle. This appears to be the Walther WA-2000, or WA-2K as a lot of people would call it. And we did see this in the original Modern Warfare 2, as well as the original Black Ops. However, I think it's more likely they're going to be using the modernized version that was seen in Call of Duty Online. It looks a lot more like this. And when it comes to this, it's just a semi-auto sniper rifle, which I do think this game could use some more of, because as of right now, we only have the Signal 50. Now, let's move on to shotguns, and there was only one shotgun on this list. This is the Tavor TS-12, which is a semi-auto shotgun, which is interesting because we just recently got the KV Broadside, which was a semi-auto shotgun, and I think a lot of people were upset with that. But the really interesting thing about this gun in real life is the fact that it has a rotating tubular magazine, and you can load several different types of shells, and you can rotate between them. So I'm curious to see if they end up playing around with that in-game, so you could potentially swap between slugs and buckshot on the fly. And that right there wraps it up for the primary weapons that have been leaked. Now let's move on to some pistols, and the first one we've got here is the Staccato 2011, which is essentially a modernized double stack 1911. I think this would be excellent to see in the game since we don't have a 1911 or anything really similar to that at this point. 
However, that's not the only pistol in this data mine. We also have the Tech 9. And yes, I did say pistol here. Unlike Black Ops Cold War, where we saw the Tech 9 as an SMG, it looks like it is going to be coming as a pistol for Modern Warfare 2. And it's likely this will fit into the meta by being a slower fire rate full auto pistol. Because as of right now, we have the X13, which is a really high fire rate full auto pistol. And therefore, I'm guessing this is going to shoot very noticeably slower, but deal a lot more damage. And with that, that wraps it up for the list of ranged weapons, at least, that we're expecting to see before the end of the life cycle of Modern Warfare 2. There were also a few different melee weapons in there as well. We had a sword, kamas, or kamas, Japanese sickles, I don't know how to say that properly, as well as Kali sticks look like they'll be making a return from Modern Warfare 2019. And overall, I do think this is a fairly decent lineup of weapons that we'll be seeing. Just based on this list, I don't really have any major complaints. Aside from one thing I've noticed is we still have yet to see a new LMG added to the game since launch. And there were none on this list, so we may not ever see a new LMG for Modern Warfare 2. But yeah, outside of that, I think this is looking pretty good. I think there's a nice mix of nostalgia as well as actual new weapons that we've never seen before. And I have seen some discussion I wanted to address here. Some people are disappointed that this is all we're going to be seeing for the rest of the life cycle. But honestly, when you break it down, we're doing pretty good when it comes to weapon count. In fact, I wanted to do a comparison between Modern Warfare 2019 and Modern Warfare 2 in its current state versus its projected state after all of these weapons, assuming they come. And it turns out, right now, in Modern Warfare 2019, when it comes to ranged weapons, we're not going to talk about melee weapons or launchers as well, I'm not going to throw that in there. But for all of the standard, like, guns in the game, Modern Warfare 2019 has 54. That's after its life cycle, after all the updates and everything. Whereas in Modern Warfare 2, right now, we have 53 of these ranged weapons. So we're almost already at the level of Modern Warfare 2019 when it comes to weapon count. And that's before the additional 10 guns that are on this list that we're expecting to see before the end of the life cycle. So weapon content wise, I think we're actually in a really good place when it comes to Modern Warfare 2. Yes, I definitely have my complaints when it comes to other forms of content, like regular core multiplayer maps, for instance. But when it comes to the weapons, that's the least of my concern. Now, of course, these are just my opinions on this list of weapons, as well as where we currently stand in the weapon count for Modern Warfare 2. And I'm just really curious to hear from you guys in the comments section down below. First off, what do you guys think about this list of weapons in general? Are there any on this list that really stood out that you're particularly excited about? Or are there any guns that you were really hoping to see throughout the life cycle of Modern Warfare 2 that didn't end up on this list? Additionally, I'd like to hear your general thoughts on just the overall weapon content that we have in Modern Warfare 2. Do you agree with me? Do you think we're actually doing pretty good in this one particular area? Or would you like to see even more guns added? Just let me know down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.